Hi, today I'd like to talk about table views, okay? And uh, so the table view is probably the most common interface element that you're going to see on iOS, okay? It's one of those list views that you see everywhere. Uh, why don't we bring up the, um, the um, simulator here and I'll go to settings. And settings is done as a table view. Okay, so what we have here is we have table view rows. We'll call this a cell. And then the cells are grouped into sections. So this is a section here, and then there's another section here, and another section. Okay, and you don't have to have sections. You can have one section, or you can have more sections. Um, the section can also have a heading and a footer. Okay, and this doesn't make use of the heading and footer. They just use it as space here, but you can put a label in the header or the footer for the, for the section. Okay. Um, the cells have a couple features. They have uh, a, a title, and then they have an image, and they have a disclosure indicator. Okay, so the disclosure indicator usually goes on the right side, and the image goes on the left. And if you have a cell that doesn't have an image, then the text will move over, and it'll be on the far left. Okay. Um, and there you go. And the disclosure indicator, like the arrow, usually says that you can, you know, tap on this to get more information. So, you know, I could go to, uh, let's say, go to Safari here, and then it'll show me, you know, more information. And then here you can see they're making use of the header and the footer, um, and then there's a header for the next section, right? Um, this cell right here, it has a, uh, like a button in it, and this one has some other text, right? So one of the cells types is a uh, right detail, and so you have the left you know, label text, but then on the right side you have some detail text, and that's what, what this cell is, is doing, right? Um, so that's one of the default cell types. And then uh, if you want to add buttons or add custom, you know, stuff to the cell, you can also make a custom cell. So you can pretty much put anything you want inside the cell, okay? So the cells can be customized, they can be different heights, you can even mix different cell types. They've actually done that here, right? They've got a right detail and then this custom one with a button. Um, so you can mix different cell types in the same in the same table view. Okay, so there's a quick example of the table view. Let let's make a table view. Okay, um, so I'm going to go into Xcode here and I'm going to choose Create New Xcode Project, and I'll start with the single view application, and I'll click Next here. I'm going to make sure that I'm using Swift, you know, iPhone. And I'll set the product to, or the, you know, the title for this project to be, you know, table view um, number one, okay? And then I'll save it here to the desktop. And there we go. So, uh, so here in Storyboard now, you can see I have, um, you know, the, in the single view controller, I have a regular, you know, UI view controller here. And, um, you know, it's, it's empty right now. Um, let's change it to a smaller size just to give us some room. Now, there's two ways you can work with the table view here, okay? You can work with a table view UI element. So I'm down in the UI elements here, and this is the table view. And I can take this table view and, and drag it into the view like this. And now I've added a table view to this to this view controller. And that's one way to work with the table view. Um, and that works for a lot of situations. And, and I'll, I'll do that in another example. Um, sometimes you'll want to work with the table view view controller, right? So this is a UI table view controller. So notice the yellow circle, right? So this is a whole view controller that contains a table view. Okay. Um, so that's a little bit different. This is like a view controller that comes with a table view attached to it. And the difference is that when you're using the, the UI table view controller, this one right here, the yellow one, um, you are allowed to use static cells. So that means you can set the cells up in, in storyboard and define their content in storyboard. If you're working with the um, UI table view, like you've added this table view right here to an existing view controller this doesn't support static cells so you can't do static cells all the cells here have to be dynamic that means you have to generate their content with your code 
Okay, so I'm going to do that in a later example, but for the example today, I'm going to use the static cells, or the example right in this video, right? So, um, so start with the uh, with the UI table view controller. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to delete this controller here. So I'll, I'll click on it and hit delete, and then I'll drag the um, the table view controller out of the the little dock there and uh, place it here. And so now I have a UI table view controller. And now note, you'll note that that this, you know, view controller dot Swift is no longer connected to anything in my storyboard. And this doesn't have a view controller file. So, you know, we'll, we'd have to set that up when we add some code. For this example, I'm not going to use any code though, so it won't matter. Okay, so the next thing is, um, you'll notice that this doesn't have the arrow pointing into it. So I've got a warning here at the top, and it's going to tell me that, you know, unsupported configuration, you know, prototype cells, blah, blah, blah. But then it says, unsupported configuration seen as unreachable due to lack of entry point. Okay, so I don't have an entry point, so I'm not telling Storyboard where the, um, the project should begin, like which view controller should be displayed first. So what I'll do to fix that is I'll click on the uh, the table view. So I've got it highlighted here. It's got the blue outline. And then in the property inspector here, there's an option that says view, uh, view controller. And then right underneath the title, it says is initial view controller. So I'll check this box. And then the arrow magically appears. So now this is the the current view controller. And then I still have this unsupported configuration. We'll fix that in a moment, OK? So anyway, so let's take a quick look at our table view here. So, so what I want to do today is I want to just create some table view cells and talk about the cells for a few minutes and then, um, you know, add some content to them in Storyboard. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be creating static cells, okay? We're creating content with static cells. Let me change the size of this. And uh, it helps when you're doing the static cells if you have the sidebar open here because it allows you to view your table view. And if you look in here, you can see it says table view cell and table view, right? So I can see those elements. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the table view itself. So, you know, if I click over here where it says table view, I'm, I'm selecting the table view. You can select it over here if you like also. And what I want to do is on the content side here, and like I said, for this example, we're going to use di um, not dynamic content, but static content. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll choose this menu item here and I'll switch it to static cells, okay? So then, um, you know, it gives me three static cells and then it puts that, that last error message away, right? So, you know, we've satisfied storyboard that we're going to do something with, this, with these cells, right? And, you know, it gives me three cells to begin with and one section. Okay, so this notice this little blue box here appeared, and that's a table view section. Okay, so that kind of groups my cells together. Okay, and um, you know if I click on the section, you can see the section has three um, cells in it or three rows. Okay, and that's what we have here, right? And if I want to add another row, you know you can click that, and it'll give you four. And if I go up a level to the table view you can see that it says sections and right now I have I have one section and if I increase that you can see now I have two sections and you know there's a heading for the section and a heading for the other section okay and now we can edit the cells individually right so you can see when I when I open up the table view here this is the content right and um, you know each one of these is a is a table view cell right and here's the section number two and there's a table view cell Okay, and then you can add content to the cells, and the cells by default they get a you know a UI view as their background element, right? So uh, so what can you do with the cell? Well, cells um, have uh, four basic types. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm I'm selecting one of the cells here, and underneath the table view cell um, options here, you can see it says style, and there's a few styles here. There's basic right detail, left detail, and subtitle. So the basic cell looks like this. It's got a title on the left side, okay? The right detail has a title on the left and then a detail text on the right. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's make the first one a basic one, and the second one can be a right detail. And then the third one is going to be a left detail. 
So the left detail is a little weird. You know, it's got the blue text on the left. So that's the detail text. And then it's got the regular text or the regular label on the right side, but it's kind of, you know, off center by about a third. So this looks a little bit like the contacts, you know, app, right? So this was the table cell they used maybe there, right? And then on the last cell here, we'll set this one to subtitle. So the subtitle has a title on the top and a subtitle on the bottom. So each one of these cells can also display an image. Let's talk about some of the other features here, right? So, you know, with this first one, maybe we'll add, um, add uh, they, can, they can have an image on the left side and it can have an icon or a disclosure indicator on the right side, okay? So let's take a look at both of those. So for the image, I'll, I'll have to get an image file here. Let me go find something. And uh, let's see here, maybe I'll find an icon here, just some picture of something. Um, maybe I'll grab this hand picture here and I'll drag it into my project there. I'll say copy if needed and finish, right? And we could put any picture we wanted in there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use this hand, right? Okay, so uh, let me go to my, my table view here and I'll select the cell. And you know, right now I, I, it was selected and I clicked it, so now it's kind of selecting the background. Let me go back up here to the table view cell. And in the, uh, the table view cell options, the second option here says image. So I can choose one of the images in my project from the menu, and then you can see it puts the hand right next to the title, okay? Um, so that's the image, right? And any of the cells can have an image. Um, Right. Oh, I guess I guess maybe the left detail doesn't allow for the image, right? But the you know the subtitle can have the image and the right detail can have the image. Okay. So I guess I guess the left detail doesn't support that. Okay. Um, next, the disclosure indicator. So I'll do this on the second cell here, but they can all have it. So on the second cell, I'll, I'll select the cell, and over here there's an accessory. I guess I I, I called it disclosure indicator. Maybe they're listing it as an accessory here. So We'll look at accessory there, and you can see when I click on it, I can choose disclosure indicator, and it gives me the little arrow, or I can choose detail disclosure, and it gives me the arrow with the little eye button, and then I can choose check mark, or I can choose, you know, detail, okay? And, uh, you know, you could make these different for every cell, or they could all share the same one. You know, and you can set this also with um, with software. So when you tap on something, maybe the check mark shows up or it goes away or something like that. Um, yeah, it looks like the left left detail can have the disclosure indicator, and this last one can have it too. Maybe we'll choose uh, the check mark for that one, right? So anyway, so there's your there's your basics for your cells. Um, you know, that's that's the basic default cells, and you can also do a custom cell. Okay, so those are the built-in cells. The custom cell um, is, is this option, so you can see, choose cell type custom, and these actually kind of work the same way. So you can still put the title and you can put the, the image in the custom cell, but you can also customize the, one, the custom cell. So, you know, like you can see here, I'm grabbing the little handle there and I'm changing the size of the cell. So if I need a bigger cell, and you can do that through the metrics too. So if I knew that this cell needed to be 90 pixels tall, then I could just type the number in. And uh, when you're inside the cell here, you can add other elements. So, you know, maybe I'll add my own custom label here. Right. Maybe this label needs to extend all the way across. And then maybe, um, you know, maybe I need to have, uh, you know, some sort of segmented controller in here for some reason. I could put that there and, uh, you know, expand it. And then maybe I also need a button here, right? So, you know, these custom cells can contain, it, you know, pretty much anything you want, okay? So there's your custom cell. Then you could put a picture in here. Um, you know, I didn't do it on this one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and squeeze an image in there. So, uh, yeah, And then maybe I'll get the uh, UI image view here and uh, kind of see if I can fit this 
on the left side here. There we go, right? So uh, so there we go. Yeah, we got a custom cell there, right? Um, here's a little note. You know, if you if you make a custom cell and you're you're using static cells like this, I'm going to delete these extra cells here. Um, you know, you might want to you might want to have several cells that look exactly the same. And as a convenience, if you have this cell selected, right? Actually, maybe you don't even need to have that selected. But but if you have a cell here and you're, you you want to add more cells, I'm going to actually go to the section here and uh, switch to the thing here. And it says, you know, number of rows is one. If you've created a cell inside a section and then you increase the number of cells here, it'll duplicate the cell that you have. So you see, I don't have to rebuild that cell with all of its contents. It's just making new cells that have the, um, the same content, right? Okay. Um, you know, maybe just so we can see this image, I'll, um, I'll set the background image to um, that hand picture again. Right, and then maybe we'll just test our app here once. Oh, and there we go. So there's our table view. You know, it's got its sections. Um, it's got its cells. You'll notice when you click on the cell, um, it shows as highlighted, and that's an option you can set in the properties here, and you can also control that through um, code. So if you write code for it, you can you know, tell it to be selected or not selected or do something when it's selected, right? But otherwise, this works just like you would expect it would, okay? Um, the one thing I didn't mention that I, I wanted to get to was constraints, okay? Inside the table view cell, you can include constraints. On these default cells, they're built in, so you don't have to do anything. But if you make a custom cell, you can add constraints to elements. So if I want to make sure that, you know, let's say this button always stays in the lower, you know, right-hand corner, then I could set the, uh, you know, the constraints here, you know, um, you know, distance to right and distance to bottom, and then set the width and the height. And then that should be enough to keep this in the lower corner, um, right? And then I could do the same thing here. You know, I could control drag and set the distance here and the distance to the bottom. Um, maybe I want to, you, you know what I mean? I could go through the whole constraint thing here. And... Uh, Maybe that would actually work on this guy, right? And then I could do uh, this thing could be distance here. And uh, I think I need to set the height on that one. Maybe I'm missing a constraint there, but, you know, you get the idea, right? So you could set all your constraints here, and, um, and then that would kind of space everything out within its table view cell, okay? So there you go. There's a quick example of uh, um, using... The, the UI table view controller and the um, static cells, okay? And then in the next video, I'll, I'll talk about, you know, working with the other, the other UI table view.